Coach Collins, you've been through a spring with this football team. Now it's the summer, time to really prepare for the season. What's been your message to this team? Yeah, so we're, we're a culture built on effort. Competition is king. Uh, so that message resonates throughout the building every single day. He just comes in and just right off the bat, he expects a lot from a lot of guys. And, you know, um, initially you're gonna have some guys that kind of just don't really react well to change and those guys will kind of weed themselves out but you know the guys who stick around are the guys that are gonna you know help us win games this season. The buy-in already is so amazing and it's just gonna get better and you know in not only with Coach Collins but with the players we're trying to establish a culture where it's like you either you're either gonna buy in or you're gonna get gone you know and so we really instill that the leaders are sticking up for other leaders so if you know you have a young guy or you just anybody that's you know you have a guy that's trying to correct somebody he snaps back well you got six or seven leaders getting his back making sure that he's not doing the same thing so it's a lot of the team is becoming closer really surprised and happily surprised uh, with the arm strength and uh, the accuracy that they have obviously they're great athletes um, after running the option for so many years. Uh, but the way they command the offense, the way they command the team leadership wise, uh, Lucas Johnson does a great job. You know, he uh, was a pocket passer obviously in high school, um, has taken to the offense reads and been with Coach Pat Note in the system. Uh, does an amazing job getting the ball where it's supposed to go. Uh, Tobias Oliver is arguably one of the greatest athletes that I've had the pleasure to coach and uh, has a live arm and uh, does a lot of great things whenever he touches the ball and look at his games last year that he played, um, the big plays that he made. So he's a great player. And then James Graham uh, did a really good job for us in the spring, learning the offense, uh, you know, competing out there every single day. Um, you know, arguably, you know, they're three of our top 30 players in our whole organization. Uh, they just happen to play the same position. Uh, so the, the, the fun thing, the exciting thing for us is finding ways to get them all involved in the offense. Uh, maybe sometimes on the field at the same time, maybe different packages moving in and out, but that's what we're you know, excited about going forward. Now who are some of the skilled guys that they'll be getting the football to? Who stood out among that crew? Yeah, so obviously we brought Jalen Camp here for a reason. Uh, honored him with wearing jersey number one. Uh, this offseason he earned it. Uh, he comes to work every single day. Uh, goes up and gets the 50-50 balls, blocks on the perimeter. Um, just is a consummate leader uh, in our program. So really proud of him. Malachi Carter's a young guy that, you know, did a lot of good things in the spring. Um, you know, some of the guys that we had played at running back in the past moved to slot receiver. Um, but there's just a whole host of guys that made a lot of good plays. So just really excited about that that group. We got to be the you know the the happiest group, the most excited group in the offense. But uh, we should definitely see a lot more opportunities, and uh, it's just up to us to you know take advantage of those. They are fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just have to see it to believe it. They're they are incredibly fast. And a lot of our running backs, they're I mean they've gotten switched to slots, and they're doing fantastic jobs. Um, you know, so it's a. Uh, it's it's going to be exciting for everybody seeing our linemen man they're doing really good for for being switched over to this system and defensively you're to check each year it seems like they've been wanting to get more pressure be more disruptive what are what are you guys doing to help them do that yeah, I mean, if you've looked at the track record of defense that we've played for, you know, the last eight years in particular, um, some of the best defenses in college football have been throughout our scheme. And uh, just excited about the development of our players within our scheme. We run an NFL-based defense that's going to translate to the next level so these guys can see themselves and watch Sunday, uh, watch the defenses that are played on Sunday and know that they're playing, um, even terminology-wise in that same scheme. And I think that's good for everybody involved and it's good for offense to going against such a multiple defense on a daily basis. They do a fantastic job of teaching it. So, I mean, in the spring, I felt like I had been in this defense for for uh, two years, you know. So it's it's um it's been it's been easy and you know master of mayhem behind it. So you know we're going to be coming after some quarterback this year. What can we expect from Georgia Tech in year one under your leadership? Well, the big thing is we got to get better every single day. Uh, we have to establish the processes that it takes to be great. And I've just been so pleased with the young men in our program that have embraced the things that we've brought um, with energy, with passion, um, excitement, hard work, and uh, just really proud of them and how every single day they get better and better and better.